Now moving north to the edge of Lebanon, the IDF reportedly downing and capturing a Hezbollah UAV as it was flying over Israeli airspace. And this amidst a sharp rise in the reliance on drones for advanced warfare. So how is Israel holding up? Joining to discuss is Tal Inbar, Senior Research Fellow and Missile Defense Advocacy Alliance. Now, Tal, thank you so much for being with us. Now, Israel downed the Hezbollah drone and even captured photos of alleged Hezbollah affiliates from that captured UAV. How much more advanced is Israel's UAV program as compared to Iran, Hezbollah, Hamas, etc.? Well, <clears throat> actually, you cannot compare the capabilities of Israel with those of um, non-state uh, entities like uh, Hamas and uh, Hezbollah and also Islamic Jihad. Uh, in related to Iran, Iran is rapidly advancing into more and more uh, capable and uh, potent uh, UAVs, including uh, arms, uh, armed UAVs, and uh, they are gaining a lot of uh, operational experience in uh, Iraq and in, in uh, Yemen. Uh, but still, Israel is one of the world's leaders in uh, capabilities, uh, not, uh, not only in those of the uh, drones uh, themselves, but also counter-drones uh, operations. All right, now, Israeli company Smart Shooter actually recently unveiled its Smash Dragon configuration. It's an armed drone system, including precision targeting technology and various types of munitions. Uh, Iran and Iranian proxies, meantime, are similarly weaponizing drones, uh, as you mentioned, as seen in Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon. How close are we sure. to a reality of fighting wars without boots on the ground at all? Well, I think uh, I can uh, remember for many years uh, uh, some uh, experts uh, talking about the drone wars, uh, no boots on the ground, and uh, no, no, uh, almost uh, no humans in the loop. Uh, we are still uh, far away from this uh, type of. Uh, reality. But uh, in the future, I don't uh, think it will be the far future. We can definitely see uh, drone versus drone. Uh, so it will be uh, very interesting and uh, no one uh, will uh, get uh, hurt on the ground. Uh, but uh, you have to remember that this is uh, still uh, just a, a part of the uh, equation because uh, there are a lot of uh, other uh, uh, instruments of war like rockets and missiles and so on. So uh, an unmanned battlefield, totally unmanned battlefield is not uh, in the foreseeable future. So what are, what are some of the surprising capabilities before I come back to, to some other questions that just came up? What are some of the surprising capabilities of unmanned aerial vehicles today, uh, especially in Israel? Well, uh, I can speak uh, not only uh, about Israel, but generally speaking, uh, the, the uh, drones are much more uh, um, uh, smart, if you will. A lot of uh, artificial intelligence is putting inside uh, their small brain. And uh, in the world, we can see a lot of uh, different types of uh, armed UAVs, uh, uh, two types, actually. One is a suicide drone, like uh, the Israeli Harpy and Harap that uh, we saw in uh, Azerbaijan and uh, Armenia. And the other uh, carry bombs and missiles, and uh, we can see the capabilities of many nations uh, in the world. Uh, and the duration, uh, meaning the time that uh, a drone could be uh, up in the air, is ever uh, growing. So today it's not uh, uncommon to see drones with uh, capabilities of uh, staying uh, in, in the mission for more than 24 hours. Wow. Um, and the, 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 the more larger the uh, drones uh, can be, uh, so, uh, so are the capabilities of uh, not only um, uh, carrying bombs and missiles, but also uh, very sophisticated intelligence uh, payloads. So we can see the whole spectrum uh, from the small one that uh, you can buy online, mm -hmm. uh, dropping small bomblets. And we saw it uh, with uh, ISIS in Syria uh, more than a decade ago uh, to the uh, global reaching uh, UAVs uh, like in the U.S. or in China. All right. So my final question is, you know, Israel is downing these Hezbollah drones. This is hardly the first time. There have been similar reports of Israeli drones being captured. How does Israel keep drone technology out of enemy hands? Well, you have to understand that if you are using a drone in the battlefield, uh, soon enough uh, the enemy will catch uh, one of them or more than one. And it happens uh, actually many times in the past, uh, the small ones uh, falling in Gaza uh, and uh, 
medium-sized drones uh, fell uh, in, in Lebanon. So uh, it is a, a chance that you take with every type of uh, new weapon that uh, you're introducing into the battlefield that at the end, the enemy will uh, reach this uh, technology. And uh, we saw that this is the case in Iran when they copied uh, American uh, drones like the RQ-170 uh, and other drones, and uh, they put it uh, into production. Although it is uh, very, um, it, it resembles a lot the or original uh, product, uh, mm. the capabilities are, are not the same. Uh, and the same uh, you, can, uh, you can say about uh, Israeli-made uh, systems. And uh, we can always keep something uh, in the sleep. All right, Talin Bar, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.